Team Structures often receives correspondence from Cessna single-engine reciprocating customers with damage on their main landing gear springs. They want to know how they should handle these issues, if they are beyond the published repair limits in the manuals, or if no limits are currently published. The most common damage seen on the tubular type gear springs is either corrosion or screw chafing damage. The flat spring issues are usually corrosion related damage. Regardless of the damage, it must be blended away, the surface reshot peened where applicable, and painted in order to return the part to service. However, repairability depends on the spring type, where the damage is located actually and readily, and how severe or widespread the damage is. If damage is found on a flat type main landing gear spring, consult the applicable service or maintenance manual section 5-5A and the applicable section 2A supplemental inspection chapter 32 for repair procedures and limitations. The flat type gear springs can have up to a maximum of 63 thousandths material removed from the original spring thickness in accordance with manual section 5-5A. Please note, this does not apply to the tapered tubular type gear springs. If damage is found on a tubular type main landing gear spring, consult the applicable section 2A supplemental inspection chapter 32 for repair procedures and limitations. The tubular type gear springs have a published repair limit depth ranging between 8 thousandths to 15 thousandths depending on the model. However, team structures can sometimes provide a repair for damage past the published limit. These issues are analyzed on a case-by-case -case basis once the damage data has been collected from the customer. Please view part two of this video series for procedures on gathering the data required for an engineering evaluation. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.